it's Scotty, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel. I am deciding to redo my room. I had my room decorated about two years ago and asked my parents when they painted my walls to paint them white. And they painted my ceiling white but not my walls white, they painted them cream because they thought my room would look too much like a kitchen if my walls are white. I don't know why they think that by I was like please I just want white walls and they were saying no. And so for two years I've wanted white walls so I said this summer I'm old enough now I'm just gonna do it myself. I can't bear cream walls anymore. It was dead on a month that this project ended. I thought it was only going to be a few days to be honest. I don't think I would have started it if I knew how long it was going to take. So the first clip you're seeing is me emptying all the bits out of my room. I don't really think that you had to prep the room first. I'd cover all the furniture, the floor, and then we'd get paint and then I had to be shown how to do it and I started taking sandpaper and sanding down my whole door frame. Now I didn't think I was going to do this, I didn't plan to do this at all but my parents gave me the idea and I just jammed out to music while I was doing it. And we also I wanted to get rid of like the burgundy red kind of wood colour. day two and a half because I only started in the evening on day one. So I started painting the rim of the ceiling first. That took a lot longer than I thought it would take. And then I started doing the ceiling. That was all okay because it was already white, so it's just a fresh coat. And then I had to move on to the walls, which needed a lot of coats each. A few of the walls, like my big one behind me right now, when it was done and dried, you could see shadows on it. And so I had to do it again, and then I had to do it again because I still got shadows on it. That was annoying, so this wall's been done four times. And I realized I did quite thick layers as well, so my room's very white. I've done the wall behind me, I've done like the mini wall over there, and then I've done the big wall over there where my wardrobe used to be. And now I've got to do a second coat on them, fourth day by the way. I'm sleeping in the living room all these days. So this is what I've been sleeping in. So basically for the past four nights I've been sleeping on this air mattress, underneath a perfet between two um, settees, and then there's also a table around here underneath, like there. And basically I've been sleeping, it's actually really comfy and I've had all my pillows and stuff but it's been quite cold down here in the living room so I've had a lot of like blankets and stuff. An extension lead here for my charging. <laughs> Okay, so that is the first coat of the door frame done. Little update because I haven't filmed in a while. All the walls are done and they've had two coats each. I've also cleaned all the floors and hoovered because it was a mess and taken all the sheets off. Also cleaned all the furniture but that's getting ready to go. And then plugs like this I have like cleaned around the edge. This was a like sign before it was like a mermaid thing, probably it was quite young. I've had it for years. I sanded off the whole sticker on the front and I've painted it white and we've put a top coat of the um, satin paint on. And I still have not decided what to put on the front. I'm going to paint whatever I want in copper paint which I already have. I cannot think for the life of me what I want. I do not want to put Claudia's room. That is so cliche, I don't want that. I might put a symbol of YouTube on there, I'm not sure, or like light this camera action, or knock, I'm filming, or I really don't know, I might just do a normal quote. I'm not sure. If you have any suggestions, comment them down below, because it's been over a month since I've done my room, and still can't think. Then once I did all the walls, I had to do my windowsill, the walls of that, and the ceiling of that, and then I had to do the actual windowsill itself with like satin paint. Then was the skirting board. And that was with satin paint as well, and that was difficult because you don't want to get it on the floor. What's the difference with satin paint to the wall paint? The wall paint, if that goes on the floor, it's easy to come off, it's like water-based. So literally you can just take a flannel and take it off instantly. But satin paint isn't water-based, I don't think, so it's a lot tougher because it's 
got that more satiny finish. You can get it off the floors, but you have to really scrub and scratch the floors to get them off. So then I started going shopping for bits and bobs in my room just to add to what I already have and I got a lamp from the range and then I got a touch lamp from Argos which is so cool because you just literally touch it and then you can adjust the brightness and all that is really, really cool. I had a conversation with my parents about furniture and I ended up not only just getting all the furniture I replaced in my room except for my bed that's the only thing I didn't get replaced. I also got loads of decorative bits it took a week to come. Most of the stuff arrived today and the rest of the little bits and bobs would be coming. I think on Tuesday so we have way more boxes downstairs. I just put my chair up. That was one thing I did myself at the furniture. I did the chair. I put the chair up myself. I was very proud of that. And then put my wardrobe together. fine except for my chest of drawers one of the pieces was not identical to the other piece and you needed them to be identical some sort we had to go to the actual store of ikea to get it replaced and while we were there i picked up more bits ikea haul tray for my candle during the day and then during the night i'm going to be putting my, my drink on it get some brackets for my shelves because we are stupid and we forgot to order them. Next I got these three photo frames, two white and one baby pink and I think I'm going to be putting them on my windowsill. Box. Done. Here we go, there's the box. Clear sheet. And this is for my desk when I'm doing work and writing because I used to have a glass top desk and if I got it on there I just rubbed it away. Well now I can't so I got this and then we came back and we finished the cabinet and I started decorating my room. Bought some rose gold hangers, I went that extra and I changed all my hangers to be rose gold. organizer which honestly I thought was gonna be tiny I didn't think I could fit all my makeup in there it would be a literally tiny thing that could go in my desk and then I went to Primark and bought some touch lights for inside my wardrobe it's a bit dark in there and it's literally so extra to get lights for your wardrobe so extra do you see that light I put up the shelves the pin board Currently putting up the pegboard. We've decided to put it here rather than above my desk because it just like lines up nicely. The only thing that's left to replace now in my room are my curtains. show you everything piece by piece obviously you've seen my room now but I want to do a full room tour so that is my next video I love my room I'm so proud of myself and I can't believe I did this all on my own if you did like this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not subscribed already and join our family we are trying to get to 1,000 subscribers and that is our major goal and that would be incredible if we got there all my social media links are in the description box below